What's up, everybody? And welcome to another JavaScript Nuggets video where we cover nifty JavaScript topics that will come in handy when working on various JavaScript apps. And in this video, we're going to take a look at three ways how we can pass props in React. So essentially, how we can pass data from the parent down to a child component in React. Before we get started, let me just mention that if you'd like to access the source code, just look for the GitHub repo URL in the description. Imagine this scenario, you have some type of data. In my case, it is an array, and then each item is an object. And then inside of that object, I have more properties. And then I have a list component where I iterate over that data. And then I return a person component. Now in the map method, I reference each object with this item parameter. And then since it is react, I do need to use a key prop. And then as far as the value I pass in, item dot id because of course since this is an object i can access that id property which is unique so i'm in good shape and then in the person component we know that each component has this props object where we can pass in those props and then for time being we're just console logging and as far as the return we just go with single person and then i can clearly see that in my browser since i have three items in my array I have three single persons on a screen. And then in the console, for the time being, props object is empty because we're not passing anything down. And the first way how we can pass data is by setting up individual props. For instance, if I want to pass down the name value, I can go with name prop. Again, naming is up to you, but I'm going to go with the same name. And then I just look for item and then dot name. And now, of course, once we save, we can see that in the console, in the props object, there is a name property, which will match exactly to whatever name you gave to your prop. And then the value, of course, is coming from the object. So now we simply need to access it in our return, where we want to go back to the JavaScript land, and we want to go with props, and then that name. Now, don't worry, at the very end of the video, we will destructure it right here in function parameters. I'm simply not doing that right now because I want to keep on console logging the props. So I save, and of course, I have John, Susan, and Anna. So this works. This is a one way how we can access the props. Now, the problem with this one is that the more properties you'll have in the object, of course, the more annoying it is going to get because you need to keep in mind that for every property, You'll have to repeat this for age. I'm going to have to go with whatever prop name then the value. And hopefully you get the gist. So a better way is just passing in the entire object. How is that going to look like? Well, first, let's remove our previous code. And then I'll also remove it from the heading to here. And then where we have the person component, I'm going to go with prop. And in this case, I'm going to name it person. And I'll assign this prop to my entire object. So to my entire item. So I go here with item. And then again, once we save, and you know what, I'll clean out my console. And then once we refresh, check this one out. So now, of course, in the props object, I have a person prop, which is an object itself. And then inside of that object, I have all these properties. And you can clearly see that they match exactly to whatever I have in a data. So if I want to return any of these values, I just need to go with props. That's my object, then the person object. And then instead of that person object, I need to look for name, age, or whatever property I want. So I'm going to go with colon. And then we're going to go with props, props, that person, and then age. And then once we save, of course, we have john, susan, and anna. So that's the second way how we can do that. And as you can see, it is already a bit better because in my opinion, the setup is cleaner where you don't need to set up prop for each of your properties. And the third way is using a spread operator. And how does that look like? Well, instead of assigning it to an object, you just spread out all the object properties. So again, let me start with a clean slate. So I'll remove everything from heading two. And back here in the person, instead of setting up the prop, 
I'm gonna go with curly braces and then dot 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 and then the item. Now, if you're not familiar with a spread operator, effectively we're copying all the properties from the object. And if you're interested in finding out more about the spread operator, how it works, and more examples, I suggest looking for the spread operator video in the same series. So in the JavaScript Nugget series, where I cover it in greater detail. For the time being, I'm just letting you know that we're just copying all of these properties and we're setting them up as props. So instead of doing that manually, we set a bunch of props effectively for every property that we have in this object. And as far as the value, well, of course, the value will be whatever is the value in the object. And again, once I save and then once I clean out my console, I can see that instead of having this person prop, which was an object, I right away have all the properties, everything starting with ID and ending with age. And then, of course, if you have more properties, for example, Susan has also a job, of course, that one will be also passed in. So now we can destructure it right away. And I'm going to remove my props. And I'll say that I'm looking for the name as well as the age property. Keep in mind that you can access any of them here when you destructure. And if you want to find out more about destructuring, again, there is a separate video where I cover destructuring in greater detail, which is part of the JavaScript Nugget series. And I'm going to remove the props because this will return error right now. Because, of course, there is no props anymore. We are right away destructuring from the props, the name and the age. And here where we have a heading two, I'm going to go with name, then colon, and then age. So these are three ways how we can pass the data from the parent component down to a child component. 